Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch. We are South Africa's whiskey couple. Myself, Gustav. And Elna. And you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 248. Our very first compass box review, mm. which is exciting. And I think we are starting with the right one. Pardon me, the Peat Monster from the company Compass Box that was established in the year 2000, so in existence only 19 years. Mm -hmm. And in this very short period of being in existence, they have already been awarded 66 medals wow. and awards in this very short time. Wow. Co-owned, I believe, by John Glazer, majority owner, and Bacardi, and I don't know who else is in the ownership mix but here we go compass box that is the bottle the label you can see it is a wonderful like all the compass box whiskey expressions this is a blended malt and it consists of a variety of isla single malts and also heavily peated highland single malts and probably something else and um uh, it, it, this is just a phenomenal whiskey, like so many mm. compass and, and boxes. And it's got an ABV of 46%. And non-chill filter, natural color, so you can trust what's going on if you look at the color. And this tells me, ex-bourbon casks, and in fact, you're looking at first fill and refill oak casks that was used for the maturation. I would say the color is white gold. It is a very, very light, almost pale straw, white gold. Here we go. First compass box whiskey. And not the last, I no, hope. No, no. Oh, sweet, wonderful peat smoke. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. Not being a peat, peated whiskey fan, I, I appreciate is, that you're with me here. Okay, but as I would say it's, a, it's more soft, rich, the, the it's smoke not, is not so not overwhelming. No, well. no, definitely not. It's beautifully balanced. Yeah. It's, it's like yeah. it, it just works. Oh, this can work for me because it's inviting. The, the, Wonderful. The peat smoke is inviting. You know what comes to mind, and I think it's because of the Isla single malts that's in here, is um, honey glazed bacon grilled on campfire. Okay. Okay. That's a mouthful. That is a mouthful, yeah. I'm getting the sea breeze. But I would also say sweet fruit. Mm, sweet fruit, the sweetness, the drop in the palm taste, and then you rub it to let the whiskey evaporate. Then you lift with an aroma of brown bread toasted on beach fire. Mm. Um, it's quite interesting if you do that. Shall we check yes, what's going on taste. on the palate? I would say them. It is sweet peat smoke. It is really more subtle. Also malty. The hint of sea salt at the end there. The complexity. The long finish. Even now, still stuff mm. going on here. The oiliness. I get butterscotch. Yet balanced. Mm. Sweet fruit and sweet toffee. Sweet mm. butterscotch. But definitely a longish finish. The, it's like the sweet mm. smokiness mm. Is, is lingering. I must say, I quite enjoy the, um, the sweet beet smoke. It transforms it's all the time. It's the sweet mm. beet smoke and then it's something else. A complex, a wonderfully complex... Mm. And you do, if you do the empty glass test with this one, you are left with that sweet peat ash mm. aroma, or, or that, uh, the, the aroma re reminds you mm. of exactly that. Impressive. I look forward to the other compost box whiskies that we are going to review. Maybe if you watch this, you can comment in the comment box which are your mm. favorite compost box whiskies. Yeah, that would be interesting to know. Whiskies. Then we can see. Everybody's favorite compass box tram. 
we are now youngsters in the yes, compass box yes. arena. After a drop, few drops of water, you can see the oily effect there. The legs beginning to form slowly, slowly. After a few drops of water, this might sound, sound strange, but caramelized banana on a beach fire. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely into the beach fire. Are on the beach. I will agree Everything with a caramelized banana. I will. I will. Maybe definitely. I'm ready for a holiday. Yes. And a beach fire. No, well, whilst on holiday. Definitely. On the caramelized banana. Oh, it just gets better. Satisfying, smooth. It's rather complex now. Every time there's something new that you want to try to describe, mm. that you want to try to get your grips on, but it's not always so easy to mm. describe it. And I believe it's because of the fact that it's a number of single molds that, from both yes. the Highlands and Isla that's been combined uh, into, this, into this masterpiece. Mm. So, pairing this whiskey, in South Africa, by the way, around eight 900 Rand for a bottle, that translates to about 40 pounds in the UK and yes. probably about $60 in the US. What would you pair this lovely blended malt with? So we have got Dutch smoked sausage and creamy cheese. Wow. That sounds like a that, masterpiece. Yeah. Dutch smoked sausage with a creamy cheese slice. We have found that if you do only the smoked sausage, it, it, it's a bit hot mm -hmm. and it reacts with yeah. the smoothness of this yes. whiskey. So you need a soft, creamy cheese to just balance mm -hmm. things out yes. and to be the sort of the bridge in between the two. But the smokiness goes so well yes. with the smoky, yes. smoky whiskey. So it is quite a mouthful. Are you going to give it a go? Yes, let's try we will hide our chewing behind the bottle. Mm -hmm. Here we go. More ash on the nose. Mm. Oh. I think this goes quite well together. Mmm. It actually brings out the, the peatiness. And the sweetness. Mm. Mm. It's now even more mm. sweet. Yes. Oh, it brings a wonderful new Good. sweet dimension yes. to the yeah. whiskey. And what I love about the addition of the cheese is afterwards you don't have that prickling sensation when sometimes when whiskey uh, reacts with too much salt or too much sugar in yes. your pairing. Yes. Um, snack. So it just works. Uh, this works perfect. wonderful with one. What another. a fantastic yes. introduction here at the Whiskey Couch into the world of Compass Box whiskies. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Slanja.